Good afternoon from Novali. We are blessed with a sunny day today. For this video, I am going to unbox two of my online recent purchases to add up to my veterinary tools. They are vaginal speculums. One is long because it is for large ruminants like cattle. The other one is short because it is for small ruminants like goat and sheep. Moreover, I will be comparing the size of the vaginal speculum for humans with that for small ruminants. So please stay tuned to learn more about being an OBGYN for animals. Before we go to the unboxing, let me share something with you about animal breeding. According to Wikipedia, seriogenology is a specialty of veterinary medicine concerned with reproduction including the physiology and pathology of the male and female reproductive systems of animals and the clinical practice of veterinary obstetrics, gynecology, andrology, and assisted reproductive technologies. In practicing seriogenology, one of the tasks is to do a vaginoscopy. To do that, there may be a need to use a vaginal speculum. Now let's get right to the unboxing. This is the vaginal dilator or speculum for large ruminants. It has a smooth round end or head to prevent any trauma. It is made of alloy and it is autoclavable. The length is approximately 33 cm or 13 inches. The maximum opening is approximately 10 cm or 3.4 cm. I bought this from China from an online seller through Shopee. Now we open the next pack. This is the smaller type of the vagina dilator or speculum. The length is approximately 17 centimeters or 6.7 inches. The weight is approximately just 180 grams or 6.3 ounces. For small ruminants, we use the vagina speculum not only for vaginoscopy but also for artificial insemination. I also bought this from China through Shopee as well. Now, this is the vagina speculum for humans, which I use for my very big dog patients. This is the disposable type, and we also have this in stainless steel or alloy. I didn't purchase that, but you can also search it out through either of the leading online platforms. Just a reminder, when you're applying this or inserting this in the female reproductive tract, always put a lubricant at the tip or end for easy insertion in the vulva going to the vagina. Insert it vertically like this. Okay. Rotate it 90 degrees. Then squeeze the handle to open the speculum. We do it again on another angle. Insert it like this. Rotate it in a 90 degrees angle. Then open the handle so that you can have a wider view of what's inside. Some may have a lock, same as you can see here so that you can have a free hand others don't have it like this one now that's the end of this video i hope you learned something from watching this please don't forget to like comment subscribe and hit the notification bell of my youtube channel god bless everybody and keep safe always